Hey guys, SuperTenderBuff here, and I'm here with another Xcode tutorial for you today. So this is gonna this is gonna be a two-part tutorial. One part is gonna be today, and another part is gonna be tomorrow. Um, and in this part, I'm gonna be showing you how to add a basic alert view to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad application. So let's go ahead and open a view base application. I'm gonna call it alert view. Save it to desktop and just make this window bigger. Alright, so we're going to start off with the code. So come into your classes folder, click on the viewcontrol.h, and what we're going to do is to set up an alert view and then set up a button, and so when the button is pressed, the alert view pops up. So IB outlet space UI alert view space star, and now give your alert view a name. I'm going to call it alert. And then once you finish typing the name, just press semicolon and then save. All right, now under the closed uh, curly brackets, just type in, um, we're going to add an IB action. Um, so add an IB action because this is going to be for a button. So IB action. And now give your IB action name. So I'm just going to call it button, semicolon, save. And now just copy your IB action into your dot m file. Now this is where we're going to add the code for the alert view. Alright, so now just type in the following code. UI alert view space star and now type in the name you assigned for your alert view. So in this case I call it alert space equals space open two square brackets UI alert view space alloc uh, close square brackets space in it with title and I'll just click the right button on your keyboard and you'll notice that the rest of the code for the alert view also uh, pops up on the right. So we're just going to add a few things. We're going to add a title, a message and then we're also going to add a cancel button as well or a dismiss button. So after the code where uh, which says in it with title uh, just click this bit here which says ns string and I'll just add at and then open two quotation marks and in between the quotation marks uh, add in a title of your choice. So I'm just going to call it title or I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll just make this a bit more personalized um, and now I'll just call it UI alert view. Once again you can call it whatever you want but just give it a name and then next to the message code here I just add in the same thing, at, and then open two quotations. And now in between these quotations, you can add in your message. So, your message here. Save. And our delegate is going to be self. Save that. And then here where it says cancel button title, I just add in at, open two quotations, and in between your quotations, write in dismiss or cancel or OK. Most people generally go for dismiss. It's just a general thing if, if your alert view is just a message. Uh, if your alert view um, is you know, an alert view which has multiple options, so it has, for example, open Safari, open this website, whatever, then you might want to put cancel because you know that's all refers to an action. All right, so just save that. Other button titles, we're going to put nil because we have no other buttons in our alert view. Um, I'll be, once again, in part two of this video, which is going to be tomorrow, I'll be coming back over this. And we're actually going to be adding more buttons and adding actions to these buttons. Uh, but for the purposes of this tutorial, part one, we're not. So just type in nil and then close square bracket, semicolon, save. Now enter down once and type in the uh, following code. So we're just going to show and release our alert. So open square brackets, alert, space, show, close square brackets, semicolon, save. Come down the line, uh, open uh, square brackets, alert, release, and then close square brackets, semicolon, save. So there we have it. We're actually done with our uh, UI alert view code. I'm just going to check my .h file just to make sure I've done everything correctly. Yep, everything seems to be fine. So now we're just going to quickly come into our um, interface file, add a button, and then connect that to our IB action. So let's just let Interface Builder launch. All right, here it is. Here's our view. I'm just going to add a round rec button. I'm going to call it Alerts View. Save that. 
So files owner, and here's our res under received actions in the inspector tab. We're just going to drag the button uh, action to our uh, round rec button, and we're going to, as always, select touch up inside because it's only one action. And then just save, close interface builder, and build and run. And as long as we've done everything correctly, which we have, you should have no errors, and the alert view should work. So let's just close Xcode. All right, so here's our here's the iPhone simulator, and if we just click the alert view button, boom, there's our alert view. Pops up with our title at the top and our message uh, just underneath the title, with our dismiss button at the bottom. And if we click dismiss, the alert view goes away. So there you have it, guys. That's how you can add a alert view to your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad application. It's really simple um, and it's really effective. Loads of developers use alert views, you know, to alert a user about certain action or, you know, if a user's lost an internet connection or something like that. Um, but I'm not just going to leave this tutorial here. Tomorrow, we'll be coming back to this tutorial and I'll be showing you how you can add actions to your alert view. So I'll be showing you how to add multiple buttons to your alert view and then add an action to each button. So, for example, one button will be to open a Safari website. One button might be to, for example, I don't know, uh, view an image or whatever. But the point is, I'm going to be showing you how to add actions to multiple buttons in an alert view. All right, well, until next time, see you in the next video. Bye.